Hola guys and girls and welcome to episode 1 of my new Lock Lock. We are gonna play Pokemon Uranium, which is a fan game made by some fancy glorious people. Their links will be in the description so you can give them all the shoutouts to them. This version is actually um, finished. So they finished the game, this is the 1.0 version. There is gonna be no updates anymore, this game is finished as it is right now. And it looked to be a really cool one. I did not look at it yet, it's my actually my first fan game I am gonna play through. So far I only played through the main game series and then did some randomizer stuff like that. But I had a poll on Twitter and most people decided that the next talk lock should be on a fan game. And I just do Pokemon Uranium because that's actually a game, first of all, with some new mons. You can see one in the background for example and the starters in the thumbnail. And that's what I was excited for and it's a game I never watched before. I did not play it like I said and I did not watch any other L uh, Let's Player play this game. So I'm going blind into this. The only thing I know are that apparently this thing in the background is a legendary, probably. <laughs> I don't know yet, I just that's just I'm assuming. And of course the three starters because it's already on the thumbnail. So I saw the starters, I saw this guy. I, there's apparently a new type in this as well. So I'm excited for that as well. And uh, yeah, if you have no idea in general what a lock lock is all about, it is a new Nuzlocke variant I created. The rules video for that will be in the description as well. You can check that out. That was still for my Soul Silver Randomizer uh, lock lock, but we lost that of course sadly. So, but the rules are still the same, so you can just check that out. And in case you already know what a lock lock is and you're wondering, last why did you, did, shouldn't you randomize a rule for this episode? I decide for the first episode I won't randomize a rule. Um, that's because the first episode will be very story heavy. We probably just get our starter and get our Pokedex and then the first episode ends. So having a rule there, like there's only one battle, probably one with the rival and stuff like that. So having one rule there is not very exciting because it probably wouldn't come into play. So I decided for the first episode to not go with a rule and you can add all the rules you want in the comments below. Now, if you have a rule suggestion what rule I should add to this whole lock lock thing, just put it in the comments and I will add it to the list. I decided to recycle all the unused rules from my social randomizer Nuzlocke. They will be on the list already, so I think I have nine rules already on the list. But if you have any new ideas, any other ideas, just put them in the comments and I will add the rule to the list. That is enough from intro shenanigans. Let's finally press the space button and continue with this whole stuff. So, we start a new game. I already did all the options and stuff like that. So, yeah, choose your game mode. Uh, I looked into this, but I decided to go with regular mode. We could do all the Nuzlocke rules already from the start, and like challenge mode. And there are some cool options right there. So, definitely should check that out if you are playing this game. But since sometimes the rule I you guys suggest are, uh, are against the standard Nuzlocke rules, and I don't... That means I couldn't make those rules into the game if I'm choosing Nuzlocke mode. So that's why I'm going with regular mode. So I will still play in Nuzlocke plus all the rules you give me. But I choose regular mode because then I have all the freedom of just play whatever how I want. Not the game deciding on what the rules are and stuff like that. But yeah. Are you sure you want to play this mode? Yes, I am. So. Ba -ba -ha. Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Okay, that's a hip, cool looking professor. I, I, I dig the sunglasses, the shirt. Pretty casual. <laughs> my name is Bamboo! Uh, but if you find it hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. I think, I mean, if it's not Bamboo, then I guess. Uh, Bamboo is pretty easy to uh, pronounce, but maybe it's something else. bam -o? Maybe that. But you're the kid who's playing for a job, right? Great! Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Um, well, no info needed. I guess it's a standard adventure thing. And if not, I would be surprised. So, yeah. Oh, that's a... That's one of the famous. It looks, looks kind of cute. Probably a normal type, I guess. The human shares world of futures known as Pokemon. More than mer animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. See? So I'm a trainer, I will battling, so no info needed right there. Uh, but there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Elements? What is a Pokemon element? Every Pokemon has an elemental type. Oh, okay, so that's just a different word for typing. And each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do we exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I will tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Okay, I'm liking how this starts already. Like, not the standard 10 uh, year kid going to a new city, get your first Pokemon. Now, I'm actually applying for a job, so that kind of makes more sense, stuff like that. So, yeah, we can choose the boy. The one which I guess could be both and the girl. So I mean, it's, it's cool that I have like a third option which could go as like a mas more masculine woman or a more feminine boy. You have the option and then like go standard.girl, standard.boy. I'm gonna go with standard.boy because I am indeed a standard.boy. 
Very masculine, of course, if you look at this. Oh, oh, mm, mm. <laughs> like to know your name. Um, oh yeah, alright, I use the keyboard right here, I don't have stuff like that. So Lars is what I'm gonna go with. Name is Lars, yes indeed. Lars, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! Oh, story time. Ten years ago, Lars' family lived in Bell Beach... Bell... Beal Beach? Beal Beach City. The largest city in Tandor. Tandor the region, I guess. Who's that? Their father... Oh, my father? Okay. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. That's my uh, mother, I guess, then. The mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Oh, damn. And some big footsteps after step. Like a scientist mother and a ranger of dad. Although they both work demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Lars. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm not a lost child. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... Until what? It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. I was thinking nuclear energy was the clean energy. I mean, nuclear energy is not that clean. I don't want to go too much into politics, but... I mean, maybe in the Pokemon world is. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Okay, Cameron is the specialist, I guess. Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does a job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Oh, that doesn't sound good in a, in a nuclear power plant. It can't leave the thermometer, I just checked that. So, oh damn, meltdown? Meltdown time? Oh shit, oh shit. Stuff's about to get real. It's blinking red, that's not a good sign. There must be breach in the reactor! At this temperature in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown! Oh damn, everybody needs to evacuate now! Run for your lives! Lucille! You have to leave too! Dot, 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 dot. What? Okay, so Mama tries to be a hero and like save everything. Lucille! Lucille! Mother! What are you doing? There's a meltdown. You don't just. Like, it's not like you can just go there and fix that. It's a meltdown. Like, like, the meltdown can't be stuff like that. But okay, with Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. I guess that. Like, if, you, if your nuclear power plant has a meltdown and you like run down to the reactor to like, I don't know, throw yourself at it. Probably dead. Probably dead. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, following any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Callum. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted chief of the tender Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. Okay, so I did. I am a lost child. So young Lars was sent to live with the elderly auntie in Moki Town. Okay. Okay, okay. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting, supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bamboo, the local Pokemon fresher, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Lars and the childhood friend Theo. He was coming for use of a certain age to receive Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Lars' journey began. Okay, I like this. I like the start. Like, no, there's more of a story behind this. Like, I'm, I'm invested in these characters. Like, what happened to my mom? She, like, they were in a way that it, she's not dead. Like, she's not just not found. And why add something like that if she's not, not alive and like mutated something like that? Obviously, like, pretty obviously, the guy with the fancy hair, Cameron, the electorate assistant. I guess he has something to do with this whole thing because, like, he was there to check things, and on that day, things went wrong. So, I mean, the connection is there. Lars, come downstairs. You're late. Okay, that's my room. Okay, I like it. I like it. Let's check if they ad added the potion. Like, the standard potion, like in every game. Traditional potion on the box? Yes, they have it. So let's withdraw this right away. Nice. So they keep... So they have some new styles, but they keep some traditions. Is that the, the map? Can you look at the map? It's a map of West Tender. Oh, West... So it's East Tender as well? That map is massive. There's East Tender as well. Can I check that? No, I can't. Okay, we in Moki Town. There are like other cities. Baro Town. I mean, I don't want to look too much at the map, but I just want to see, but... If that is only half of the map, that's a pretty big map. That's a pretty big world. I like it. A lot, lot to explore. A lot to explore. Oh, that's the uh, starting button. We can save. I see. So yes, let's talk to our aunt. Auntie back auntie. 
La, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little old roll up leaving home. If Oh, if only those cold bones could do more so that I could spot it. Well, I, mean, I kind of got lost in the sentence. But we both know that we are that you are ready for this. You and that boy Theo, always following your footsteps, that one. You have always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him. Wait, wasn't Cameron the, the electric guy? The electric help guy? So his son is my friend. Okay. Wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got your present. Go ahead and open it. Runny shoes! Yes! Yes, yes, I'm a fan of this game. Runny shoes from the start, that's awesome. Blah blah instructions, how to use it, or Z, you can toggle auto run the menu. Okay. Sniffle. Oh god, this is going sad. Oh, I don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. I'm only a father over here right now. I'm sure he would be proud of two, you too, and a post if you run out of during your adventure. <laughs> Pretty sad. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Okay, so let's toggle the shoes. Let's save the game. Like to save the game? Yes. Let's do first things first in case something else was wrong. And okay, nice. We can run, even run in houses. That's awesome. Okay. The outside world. Moki Town. Okay, let's explore a bit. So obviously we need to talk to everyone because some, sometimes we get stuff for free. Oh, let's leave home right here. Here, leave this. I'll help you on the journey. Don't eat it yourself. A rare candy. Oh, damn. Like, I expect like, something like a potion, a berry, like a map. I don't know, but rare candies. I take rare candies. Do you have rare candies for me as well, Mr. Old Man? So you're finally heading out on adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. Okay, nothing from you. What are you? My husband's long been an admirer of your father, you know? Okay. Nothing fancy here. Let's see. What do we get down here? Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Okay, you, young boy. What do you want from me? I'm so jealous. You get to have your own Pokemon. My mama says I gotta wait till I'm older. Okay, what do you have? Technology is incredible. You can now trade Pokemon with friends across the world with the power of the internet. Yeah, the power of the internet is very indeed a strong one. What do we have? I wonder what kind of Pokemon lives in this pond. Probably just Magic Cup. I guess probably some more if it's just if you're already asking like that. My favorite Pokemon is Kubuk. It's so cute. I guess it's a bug Pokemon because Kubuk, cute bug, Kubuk. That makes sense. I think I like a bur Burby. It's the flying type, so it's strong against bugs. The bird Pokemon is called Burby. Okay. I don't want to look at the designs yet, but the names are kind of uh, lazy. <laughs> Today is a nice day, isn't it? Seems like it's nice weather around here. Okay. You're just talking about the weather. What do I have in here? Ba -ba -do -boo. I bought my son the new video game. All the children are playing these days. But you know, you won't put it down for even a second. Yeah, that's what happens if you like, what, what game are you playing? Listen, have you heard of the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red version. Oh, I mean, I had, I did heard of that, but that was quite some time ago. I don't think that's the newest iteration. I think your mother is fooling you. Okay, there's some grass. I don't think I can go into there. Is there just a go? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I need my Pokemon first. So let's go to the other direction and check out what's up there. I already talked to you. What do you say? What do you say? Come on, talk to me. Trim crops so are fast. Not so long ago, it seemed like I was one myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey. Okay. Everyone knows me, apparently. Oh, there's he. That's Cameron. Cameron, the electro dude. Hello, last. Today's the day, and you and Theo received your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. Ah, I remember that day, all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It's a suspicious day. Auspicious? Auspicious day? Well, I have no idea what auspicious means, but apparently it's something good. Indeed, if you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in North Town. Okay, so I have to go to North to the, to the thing. He's not very patient, so he should probably hurry along and join him. Okay, there's nothing else here. What is the Okay, yeah, nothing else here. So I can keep going, keep going, keep going. Ba ba to the north, old man. What do you have to do to say? So you're not going to be the big breadwinner, no? Breadwinner? Okay, I don't win bread apparently. Okay, I, I should pop by to visit your auntie now again. Ha 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 ha! Okay, okay, mister, I see you something I like. I mean, now, even if in, in older age, you're, you're allowed to have some fun, but... Damn, okay, old man, you're going in, you're going in. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tender are native to the region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Okay, so I have new old ones as well. Don't know why Dunsparce and Mankey are as examples, but, I mean, I like Mankey, Dunsparce is fun, but... Oh, hey, wait up! Oh, there, same hair, probably the Theo. 
<laughs> it pretty messed up. It's like if your faucet have the same hair as your dad, especially if it's like something like red yellow. But okay, where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Lars. Okay, we will see about that. I already know which starter I want, by the way. What is? What is here? What is here? Okay, there, there are the starters. Like this, the water one. There's the cat, the green one, and there's the the uh, dinosaur lizard uh, fire one. So I already know which starter I want, but you will, you will will wait a bit to find out. So, Babu, hey, if it isn't Lars, ah, oh, and your friend uh, Tommy, was it? Honestly, pops, can't you remember a name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day to work at look, your first day at work as Fiat Research Assistant at Bamboo Re Pokemon Research Labs. Damn, your job will have you traveling across town to observe and capture many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. Why is it called elements? Why not typings? What 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 was wrong with typings? Why is it not fancy enough? I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your start off, though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. A test. The test? What? Test? Okay, yeah. these he's speaking right from my heart. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were just giving us a rare powerful Pokemon. He's speaking just what I was thinking. No, 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 don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. Good, good. I like that. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different batting styles. Starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. So I, so I probably get some questions and apparently what I answer, I get the starter? Oh, no, I want, I want to choose my starter. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get to my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, are you ready to take the train attempt to this? Yes. Let's hop right in. Excellent. So, without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Think right away. Wait to see what it does. Throw a Pokemon. Okay, so I guess that's for Fire Starter. That's for Grass Starter. Water Starter. So now I can read it right now. I want the Water Starter. I know. The the fire starter looks the coolest. Like that got me wrong. The dinosaur thing, fire uh, Charmander, whatever. A cooler Charmander, basically. It looks very cool. It has a very nice design. The green one looks kind of boring. It's like just a green cat. Not really excited for that. But the green blue one, that look that looked most interesting. Like this would be the coolest one. This is the lamest one. And it was just I intrigued me. Like what this thing does and what how it looks. I want a water starter. And it's tradition that I always have a water starter. I always had Squirtle. Um, what's the what's the second gen starter in English called? Totodile, Mudkip, um, Gen 4, I never... Gen 4, yeah, Pimplop, Gen 5, I never played, Gen 6, I got... What's the Gen 6 side again? Oh, yeah, Froki. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't got Froki there. I got Igomaru there, the grass one. And then, then I got the grass one in Gen 7. So I guess I don't always get the water starter. But let's go with water starter. So let's just answer these. Very good, both of you. Come on, that is easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which one of these teams would you prefer to teach a Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, Hidden Power. Uh, depends. Like, Hyper Beam not. Protect, and more defenses, mods, and Hidden Power is more utility, so I would probably even go with Hidden Power. Even though it's... it's I, I would always choose because of Water Attack, the Water one. But yeah, next question. Which of the following Pokemon would win all of battle? Gyarados, Gliscor, and Ampharos. Depending on the, on the uh, moveset, that Gliscor can retouch really Gyarados. Gyarados has... Can hit all of these and outspeeds. Now, uh, Gyarados is slower than Gliscor, I think. But I think Gyarados would win, but I want the Water Starter, so I'll go with Ampharos. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now it's your final question. So answer this honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a retrainer? Becoming the very best, exploring the region, making new friends. Honestly, it would be becoming the very best, but I want the Water Starter, so I'm going for making new friends. <laughs> no question about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon Master. Ain't nobody's going to stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> dick your spirit kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Dot, dot. Dot. Okay, I finished my analysis. That was pretty quick. I mean, only four questions to be fair. Yeah, hey, don't get the water started right now. If I got trolled, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. Lars, you seem to be a trainer that is capable of many different strategies. You've had to adapt to overcome challenges in your path. Your philosophy is probably to just go with the flow. Yeah, you know me. Always go with the flow. Your calm, rational approach will come to add you in the future. For a balanced trainer like you, yes, the water starter. Either attacks. So I didn't got trolled. Thank for, thank for, thank, thank, thank God. What is happening? Is it lagging? No, it's not lagging. Wimp. <laughs> Go ahead and take it, Lars. Lars are playing Iltax. Electric nickname. Yes, that's part of the rule. And it's kind of a horse. 
So let's call it Richie. Because it looks kind of like a horse. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Last got the side already. When do I get mine? I'm not as in you with those two, Theo. Hmm. I guess he gets the grass one then. Because, like, op uh, traditional opposing typing, stuff like that. Let's see. Theo. But you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, care mostly about your own desires. I sent but I sense something else on you. Could it be the state of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you... Oh, Ragtosh! Okay, so that's cool. Uh, for the one hand, it's made it easier for me. But on the other hand, I see what the final evolution of this looks like. And I thought this has the coolest design. So I definitely want to look to check how this looks. So it's cool that you got that. Yes, my first Pokemon! I guess we battle right now. Yes, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in my lap. But okay, first battle. Theo versus Theo. Yeah, he's very young, right? Oh, damn. I look like rather like 15-ish, 14-ish. Like, But he looks like a kid. Like, I'm more teen, he's a kid. There's Raptorch. Go, Richie. So let's see what I got. Fight. Take a tail with water gun. We are with water gun. No, you definitely know where you're going for right now. Ember, doesn't do much. Yes, doesn't do much at all. Oh, but that was burned? What? Damn, Oko. Okay. What is happening? Why is it lagging? Oh, there it go. Okay, so you have to play around with the settings a bit because it's a bit laggy. Man, before Red Touch faded, Richie gained 69 XP. And that was an Oko. Nice, Richie, I like it already. Last defeat right with Theo. What? But. Oh, but I was supposed to win! Last got 350, we're winning. But how I'm supposed to be the b b best trainer ever? That's a possible good trainer never lose. I, 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 where? Please don't cry, Theo. Oh god, is Theo like that? Here, here, I'm fucking for you. Oh, Theo's already getting one of us. Is it really a kid like that? Is it really a kid like that? I got healed, I like that. I want to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Who you between your starter and last death has the type has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water. Gets the elemental type triangle. Well one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchup is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want to do over! How come last gets a better starter? Wah, it isn't fair! I'm going home! Ah, oh, Theo's getting up my nerves already. Sigh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid after all. I mean I know other kids, and they're not as obnoxious as Theo. I expect to soon, soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as you imagined. I'm going to the entrance to Route Zero One by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch a Pokemon. See you later, Lars. Okay, we are 20... F oh wait, I pressed the wrong button. We are 25, uh, 23 minutes, so I will do the whole catching part, and then I think we are ready to, to end the episode, and then dive into catching Pokemon in the next episode and stuff like that. So, and I need to show my mom to my aunt, so let's do that first. My aunt wants to see my Pokemon. Maybe I get something from her. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What's it called? The Tux? It's so cute. Come back when you need rest, or if you just want to humor your old aunt. That's all? That's why I came back? God damn it. Okay. Then let's go to the Theo's house. Ba 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 There we go. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. You won't tell me what's happened wrong. He'll calm downstairs. I swear if you do anything to hurt him. Oh, is that an overpractice dad? Overpractice dad and a son like that? Don't tell me. Oh, so that's how it is. You got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm, I see. That explains it. A harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is much part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still crying once of anything, that's something he has to learn. See you! Come downstairs right now, young man! Sniffle. See you, you can't cry every time you lose a battle, that's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair, that's got the better start on me, no, I'm never gonna win. And you have catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Sniff, yes, Dad. 
Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, so try and be stronger for yourself, okay? Lars, please be patient with my son. He looks after you, you know? Oh, if I really do. Oh, you forgot, Lars. Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Lars, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful. Pokepot? What's a Pokepot? A Pokepot? What's that? It's a high tech device that's in indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. So it's like a Pokemon nerf. Cool, hey hey, I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep it up, Lars. Okay, and he's good again. We'll talk about the dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Lars, you don't have to keep the professor waiting, so we should get moving too. I won't see you, see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I supervise the construction of the new power plant e Epsilon. Power plant Epsilon? I don't know. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place the still was ever seen. Best of luck on your journey, Lars. Okay, do, wait a minute. Which, I guess the other edge of town because there was some grass. That would make sense. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. Talk to you. Hey there, Lars. No, that you and Theo are here. It's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and re field research ad. No, watch closely. Well, Pokemon, as you as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves, in water, and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Oh, what we got? Look, it's a wild ch chwin monk. That's very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so knows my chance. Go, Archinks! This little guy was the other starter, Pokemon you could could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me. I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Okay, so he gets them. Okay, now the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Archinks, you scratch! Ching! Now that's weak, now it's my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go! And that's how it's done. Now, she and Monk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use push with Pokeball. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Last Theo, these are for you. See the Pokedex! Oh, there we go. Fine, I was, I was always surprised why I didn't get the Pokedex right from the start. A black Pokedex in Encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter and catch a new Pokemon! <sighs> it's very important for my research, so make sure you fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Pokeballs! Yes! That's what it was in the Pokeballs pocket. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. That's wrong. That's that thing the kids always say. Gotta catch them all! I mean, uh, we, uh, not really. But if you run out, you can pick up some at the po any Pokemon. Mogetown Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kefla Town on the other side of Route 1. Z Z uh, Route 1. So what's, with that said, your lesson is now over. But but you two have po Pokeballs, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Is that going in? Do I get again numbers from really creepy old man? But I guess he's my he's my boss, my employer, so I, I guess it's fine that he has my number. You can give me a call anytime and I'll take a look at how your Pokemon is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, I've been playing Nuzlocke, so probably won't get these rewards. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journey, both of you. Okay, is that all? Oh, it's like Theo having a speech right now, like blah blah, I'm gonna be better than you. Shenanigans. There we go. Last, I don't care that you got the stronger starter, I'm still gonna be best uh, There we go. <laughs> I get Stats of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. Okay, so we are free right now. That means I will the end episode right here. This was just the introduction episode to leave you to see how the story goes, to see, get to see my starter and stuff like that. We will start catching ones in the new episode, so maybe if you have some rules regarding how to catch a Pokemon, if I'm allowed to catch Pokemon, all this good stuff. Leave them in the comments so you can add some rules. I hope you're excited for this let's play. I for sure am. Like I said, I'm. it's like first game playing a new Pokemon game. I have no idea what will happen. A lot of new mods, a lot of... Uh, apparently you're typing as well. But uh, yeah, that's all from... Oh, wait, before you do anything, let's look at our starter. Totally forgot that. Didn't look at that. Pokemon. Richie. Let's see, what's your nature? Stuff like that. It's water... Oh yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that. They both have double typings. Water Electric is a very nice typing. I like that a lot. Bashful nature, I think that's one of the neutral ones. And these are my Eevees? Ivies? I mean, they're kind of bad. Yeah, like very bad Ivies. But I guess they don't matter in the let's play. But either way, now we got that. 
Now we got that out of the way. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Leave your things in the description. Hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description. And yeah, that's all from me. I will see you another time. Ciao.